This is Takehara Channel. This blog is my English learning journey. When I read an English reference book, it made me confused again. This book. Super step. 中学英文法1から3年。中学生の英文法の本です。I found an interesting usage of reflective pronoun idioms. So I will use a myself to sample sentences. First, I made cookies for myself. I can understand this usage because this, mean, this means it is for me. 自分のためにクッキーを焼く。焼いた。自分のためにクッキーを焼いた。Next, I made cookies by myself. I also can understand because this means I made it only me. 自分でクッキーを焼いた。Next, I said to myself when I made cookies. I can understand this too because this means I said to in my mind to me. Right? まあ、独り言的に I said to myself 自分に言ったクッキーを作っているときに Last I enjoyed myself when I made cookies But this idiom is not easy for me I think this sentence has the same meaning even if without myself The first three sentences point to me But I felt the last sentence didn't. Anyway, I asked my English tutor about the last sentence. So she taught me it is correct, but I don't have to pause before when. It becomes a weird expression if I pause there, so I mustn't use it, apparently. I enjoyed myself when I made cookies. と I enjoyed when I made cookies. はどっちも同じようにクッキー焼いてる時に楽しみましたっていう意味になると思うんですが Enjoyed myself, enjoyed ourselves, enjoyed yourselves みたいに楽しんだっていう言い回しになるようです。でも、まあ、このサンプル文章だと、公園の前で止まっちゃダメよ。変な意味になっちゃうからって注意されました。はい、がり。Next, I read uncountable nouns explains. I've been using grammar when I'm writing English sentences. Sometimes they correct my sentence that drop プルーラル S。グラマリー使ってるときに、ちょくちょく、その、複数形の S を消されちゃいます、自動的に。なんで消されてるのかは、その時全くわかってませんでした。For example, I have some equipments. Equipments. I Look up about local areas informations. Informations. I want to use some papers. Papers. These sentences are incorrect because equipment, information, and paper are uncountable nouns. So, Grammarly corrects to delete S in these sentences. But I didn't know. The rule, so I hadn't pay attention to the correct reason. However, the book, exp- the book explained that nouns are separate countable and uncountable nouns. After that, I can understand why Grammarly does it. So that what it means. How many vegetables 
do you have? How much fruit do you have? I don't know why, but vegetable is a countable noun and fruit is an uncountable noun. Right? I feel I can count on each other. ベジタブルは数えられるけど、フルーツは数えられない。不思議です。なぜなんでしょう。マネーも数えられないから、How many, how many money do you have? じゃなくて、How much money do you have? お金も数えられるとは思うんですが、まあ、数えられないと。難しい話です。Next. Next is indefinite pronouns. Some, some can use a positive sentence and any can use a question and a negative sentence, right? However, how about this sample sentence? Anyone can join our club. It is not a question and a negative, but it uses anyone, the first word, and it means whoever. It isn't someone. I wanted to know about the difference between someone and anyone meaning, s so I looked it up online. These words Meanings are unknown t h i n g For example, someone is in the room and is anyone in the room? 部屋の中に誰かがいる部屋に誰かいますか難しいですね。まあでもこの場合は疑問文なんで any は any を使うっていうのはわかりやすいですよね。Someone indicates a specific unknown thing. thing. And anyone is a more general and extensive unknown thing. Someone の方がもうちょっと対象が絞られてて、全く検討がつかない場合は、anyone を使う。だから最初の例、anyone can join our club. 誰でもクラブに参加できます。っていう意味になるらしいです。疑問文でも。否定文でもないけど。ここは someone can join our club ではなく anyone can join our club 不特定多数の誰でもいいですっていう意味のようです。難しいね。The last is who? How about following conversation sentences? Who are you? I can use in the phrase this one. Who is it? I can use someone at the door. Who is this, please? I can use it when I call someone I cannot recognize. これは難しい。対面してるときに、あなたは誰ですかって聞きたいときは、Who are you? でもドアにノックして誰かが来たときには、Who is it? 電話かけててどなたかわからないときは、Who is this, please? どなた様ですかみたいな。名前教えてくれますかみたいになるようです。Who are you? Who is it? Who is this? I couldn't understand these usage, so I asked my English tutor again. She told me it is English rule. So I have to get used to using them. And she said additional. When in Rome, do as the Romans do. I felt it makes sense. If I want to speak English, try using it repeatedly when I get used to it. まあそ,のまあ、そういうものですと。例えば、電話でかかってきたときには
って電話機に話しかけてるからティースだと。ノックしてる時にはノックしたのが何なのかの一途だと。そのノックの意味は何ですかみたいな。そういう感じなのかなみたいな説明をしてくれたんですけど、まあ、とにかくそういうルールなので、慣れろと。たくさん使って慣れてくださいと。で最終的に言ってくれたのが、When in Rome, do at the Romans do. もしローマにいるなら、ローマ人のように振る舞いなさい。素晴らしいことわざをいただきました。そうだなと思わずにはいられません。Thank you for watching.If you enjoy this video, please hit thumbs up button and subscribe.See you!